There she is. Oh, here she comes. Hello, Mrs. Schroeder. Hi, baby girl. Cutest thing in the world, you guys. Oh, spilled the food first thing. And look at this big boy. Brrr, big old face. Hey, big one. Oh, they're beautiful, you guys. I love them so much. Told you they were doing fine. Aren't you, girl? See, we're fine. Never been peed on, never been pooped on. Mr. Thompson poops in his box. He poops over here. So he's a very tidy bun. <laughs> They're so cool, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We're, uh, we're checking up on our mouse trap. I haven't been down there yet. It's really cold today. But I'm going to let the chickens out. It froze last night. As you can see, I had to, I had to, uh, chop through his water this morning. He's Mr. Bun Bun. <sighs> you guys, too cute. He is just the most adorable thing. They both are. I love them. And they're so friendly. They come and see me all the time. They come and see me and try to climb out on me. They don't like being picked up like most rabbits. Um, it's a fight to the death when I try to, when I try to pick them up, but, um, they're, they're super friendly. They're great rabbits. They don't bite. They do scratch if you let them. <laughs> if you try to hang on to them, they'll scratch you. But uh, I wanted to give everybody an update on the, on the buns. We've still got a few weeks before we can breed. But it's going to happen. It is going to happen. Alright, we're going to go check on the mousetrap. BRB. So real quick before we go check the mousetrap, I wanted you guys to see what's going on in the garden over here. I've got so many things growing. This is okra, and this is Brussels sprouts. Now, I've had a problem with my growing, and I'm going to share with you all the problems with my growing. See, look, this is lettuce. The lettuce has wilted and died, and I think I know why. My cabbage... They get up to a certain point and then they wilt and die. See what that guy's doing? I know what it is. I'm using 100% organic soil, right? I'm not using miracle Grow, So it has no like um, fertilizer in it. I just realized that. These are my Roma tomatoes. These are my beefcake tomatoes. Beef steak, I know. But I call them beefcake tomatoes. And then this is my yarrow. And then I've got a bunch of, like, this is rosemary coming up right here. I tried a bunch of uh, different spices. Um, they're not doing too good. I do have some of my parsley coming up. And my, uh, what is this, thyme, I think, is coming up right here. And then this is uh, lavender. I'm not getting any love from it. I've got my onions sprouting up like crazy over here. These are tomatoes, but you see how they're wilting and dying. I think that is from, like again, I said I didn't put any fertilizer in the soil. So I think that's what I need to do. I bought some at the Rural King. I'm going to be knocking it out. I'm trying some more celery here. My celery came up again, came to like a certain point and then wilted down. See how these guys are doing? That's what they keep doing. This is cabbage. It's doing a little bit better. But I've got some... Uh, I've got some stuff to mix in with the soil, and then I've got some little sticks to stick down in the stuff that's already existing. I do have some pepper plants coming up over here. I've got red peppers and green peppers, and so those are starting to sprout. But I just wanted to show you guys what was going on in the, uh, in the garden here, because I'm pretty proud of it. Kind of disappointed by it because of this mess that I got going on right here, but I think I've found the solution, and, and we'll, be, uh, we'll be seeing how it goes. But anyway, back to the mouse trap. Ah, springtime. Isn't it beautiful? All the trees are blooming. It just looks lovely. Alright, so I'm not expecting to have any mice in the mouse trap. Look at them waiting on me. Chickens! They're so cool. Alright, I'm not expecting any mice in the mouse trap. Just going to go ahead and put it out there. Um, everything looks to be, I came down last night at like 11 o'clock just to kind of check and see if it had been, uh, if it had been messed with. Um, it had not. 
So I moved it around a little bit. I put the ramp up on the bricks because that seems to be a pretty popular thoroughfare. I put some uh, chicken food on the ramp to kind of try to get them to come up the ramp a little bit. They did eat some of that because it was farther down. So it looks like they came up to about there. No brave ones in the trap. See, I threw a little cracker down in there. Eh, looks like no one braved it. I figured it would take a couple days. I know that when you, um, like when you set regular mouse traps, you have to give them a couple days because they don't immediately, uh, they don't immediately go to them because it's something foreign in their environment. It freaks them out. So I'm sure they partied hard last night. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. So we're going to keep track of this. <clears throat> we're going to uh, to keep up with them and. Now, girls, why did you stuff your water bucket full of hay? These girls. Such silly, silly girls. Alright, guys. We'll try again tomorrow. I wanted to update everybody on everything. We've got the, uh... We've got the, the bunnies bunnying. Yeah, we got the, the favrils squawking. I'm gonna try to get some more favrils, I think. I've been thinking about it. These girls are awfully lonely. They need a boy, and to have a boy, we need more girls. So. <laughs> oh, they're hilarious. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.